Robin Hood of the Old West. Cisco, the sheriff, he is getting closer. This way, Pancho, Pablo. The Cisco Kid. <laughs> Another exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid, the story of Ned Dobson's niece. In the days of our country's history, when the frontiers of the Old West were being pushed relentlessly back by the advance of civilization, it was inevitable that men greedy for wealth should be among the settlers who pioneered this rich new land. Such a man was Ned Dobson, whose home ranch, with its widespreading acres, yielded larger and larger profits each year, while its owner grew more greedy as his wealth and holdings increased. Yeah, you haven't looked at this deed for a long time. Yeah, recorded in the land patent office 15 years ago. Everything's legal. What are you walking in like that for, Bart? I told you never to come in this room, didn't I? Figure I got a right to, Ned. And don't start calling me Ned. Seems like you're getting pretty uppity all of a sudden. Remember, I'm Mr. Dobson to you, and don't forget it. Sure, sure, Mr. Dobson. What I call you don't make no difference to me. It's what I got coming on this ranch deal that's important. What you mean, what you got coming? You get your wages as top hand and whatever extra I see fit to give you. That ain't the way we set it up 15 years ago. I can't you remember that far back. Bart, you've been well paid for that little job you've done. Just signing your name as witness. Yeah, witness to a forgery. Kicked your brother off the place and had me witness the signing of the deed for his share. Only it wasn't his signature I witnessed, remember? Shut up. Yeah, I'll shut up. When I get paid for shutting up, maybe I'll just take that deed on your desk there and keep it till I do get paid. Drop that, you fool. Give it to me. All right. Ain't no need to pull a gun on me. Don't get any ideas about stealing it out of this desk, either. Now, sit down. I've got a job for you. How do I get paid for this one? There won't be any payoff for either of us unless you do this job right. Look at this letter. Hmm. Your brother's daughter is coming out to claim half the ranch your father left her in his will, huh? That's right. But she ain't going to ever get here, Bart. You're going to see that she doesn't. Yeah? How do you figure that? She'll be taking the stage out from Junction City. Your job is to get her off that stage and hold her captive until she signs over her share of the ranch to me. Suppose I say no. Looks like to me I hold a pretty good hand in this game, Mr. Dobson. Yeah, don't get any idea you're holding a winning hand. Don't forget, I got some pretty good cards. Yeah? Yeah, Bart, you got some pretty good cards. But a lot of winning hands have lost when they tried bucking up against a gun. Cisco. Si, Pancho. This train ride we on from Junction City to Falls and back again. Pancho not very happy about this. Why, Pancho? It was you who kept asking to ride on the cars. Ah, Pancho got enough of this. And Pancho be very glad when we get back to Junction City. Si, amigo, so will I. But it is a very good thing we took this ride. To make us appreciate Diablo and Loco all the more. Do you think Diablo and Loco be all right, Cisco? Certainly, Pancho. Uh -huh. Delivery stable at Junction City will give them good care. But, Pancho, you should be more interested in this train ride. Ah, Noisy, dirty thing, this train, Cisco. Boompity, 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 boompity. Pancho liked to ride up the falls this morning, but coming back, not so good. Why, amigo? The train runs and rides the same, whether it's going away from Junction City or coming back. Mm, there's the trouble, Cisco. Why not the train take a different way back? Because the train runs on a track. The same track, whether it goes from Junction City to Falls or from Falls to Junction City. Ah, now you got Pancho all mixed up. And what happened if the hombre what run the train want to go back a different way? You mean the engineer? See, the rider on the big black thing up in the front. What happened if he not want to go back to Junction City the same way? He has no other choice, amigo. He must go where the train goes. Mm, that's the trouble, Pancho, I think. 
The people's got to go where the train go, not the train go where the people's want to go. Naturally, Pancho. Uh, people must want to travel to the place where the train goes, otherwise they would not be on the train. And Pancho on the train. And Pancho like to go to Abilene, maybe, but Pancho not go there. <laughs> Why? Because the train say it go to Junction City. Crazy local business, this. Uh, Pancho, have you observed the senorita who is sitting several seats ahead of us? Si, Cisco Pancho's here. And Pancho wants to see Cisco Watcher. And, and Pancho also watch the funny bond the senorita wear. <laughs> Look like chicken with, with tail feathers sticking up. Pancho is a very pretty bonnet. Yeah. And I think the wearer is a very pretty senorita. And the hombre sitting next to her thinks so, too. Look, she's good to say you're really getting up, but the hombre not one or two. Si, Pancho. He does not want the senorita to leave the seat. Mm, grab her arm, Cisco. That hombre should be a little more polite. I will offer my help. Uh, oh, well, Cisco got to try to help the senorita. Beg your pardon, senorita. Is this hombre annoying you? He certainly is. Please let go of my arm. Now, look, you stay out of this, you hear? I hear very well, hombre. I also heard what the senorita said. Please, gentlemen, don't fight. I've heard so much about the hot tempers of the West. There will be no fight, senorita. I will merely see that you are not annoyed. Stranger, tend to your own business. This is my affair. Perhaps I will make it mine. Yeah. We'll see about that. <laughs> I just like to fight on the train, hombre, but if you wish to fight, you will get it. Button in where you're not at. I think I was asked, hombre. Please. Please don't. I'll teach you some manners. Uh, I think you are the one who needs teaching. Oh, oh, Conductor, please stop him. This man was annoying me. All right, you. Sit down in your seat and be quiet. This hombre started it all. I only tried to start. Stop what you started with the senorita. Thank you. My name is Helen Dobson. Si, senorita. And I am the Cisco Kid. Now, all of you, sit down. The train's no place to be having a ruckus. Very well, Conductor. We do not wish to cause any disturbance. So you're the Cisco kid, eh? Well, I'm right happy to meet up with you. Pretty tough hombre, I hear. But this little thing today ain't nothing. You and me will be having another go one of these days. You won't be having nothing on this train. Come on, you. Hot in the next car. Just watch out, Cisco. The next time we meet, it'll be a different story. I'm so sorry, Senorita, that you were annoyed. It's not a pleasant thing to have one's first visit spoiled. This doesn't spoil it, Cisco. It's just that I dislike being the cause of a fight. Many fights have been started, Senorita. Wars, too, over one as beautiful as you. <laughs> you say very charming things, Cisco. Is it true that all men in the West are dashing and gallant? I think Western chivalry is above the average, but I do not believe the Senorita will find all men are honest any more than all horses are white. <laughs> I suppose you're curious as to why I'm coming out here. To be curious would be impolite, senorita. Of course, if you would care to tell me, I... Well, I'm on my way to visit my uncle, Ned Dobson. He lives quite a ways from Junction City. You see, my father owned half of the ranch, and when he died last month back east, he left his share to me. Oh, I'm sorry about your father, senorita. Your uncle, this Ned Dobson, I do not know him. Uh, is he meeting you in Junction City? I don't know. I, I sent him a letter, but he may not have reached him. I remember there used to be a stagecoach line that went past the ranch. I suppose it's still in operation. I believe the stage line now starts at Junction City. But if your uncle does not meet you, you will have to stay over until morning. That'll be all right. I'm very tired from this trip on the cars. A rest will do me good. Junction City! Junction City! Well, here we are at the end of the line, senorita. Now, oh, please remember, if I can ever be of help to you, I'll be most happy to serve. Thank you, Cisco. You've already been most kind. I hope I will see you again soon. I've been looking for you ever since this morning, Trip. Made a little visit up to the falls, Bart. Just got back tonight. Got a job for you. That is, the boss has. Yeah? What is it? Dobson's niece is due to arrive from the east most any time now. She'll be taking the stage out to the ranch. We don't want her to get there. Oh? Why not? For a very good reason. And you're running no risk, Trip. Well, all right. Give me the setup. What do I do? Dobson's niece will be taking the stage. It's up to you to see she's taken off the stage and held in that old cabin of Dobson's in the South Range. When she signs some papers, you let her go. That's all. You say she's from the East and she's due to arrive most any time now? Yeah. Might have come in tonight, for all I know. Uh, Good-looking young gal? Well, I haven't seen her for almost 15 years. Gawky kid when she left here. That wouldn't be her coming in over there now, would it? Well, it could be. Why do you ask? That's a gal who come in on the train from Falls this evening. I met her. And you ought to know she's Dobson's niece. I didn't get so far as finding out her name. 
Just as I was beginning to get acquainted, a big tough hombre started making trouble. Yeah? Well, if that girl's riding the stage tomorrow morning, you'll know she's Dobson's niece. If you want to find out now, we might go out and look at the hotel register in the lobby. Yeah, might be a good idea. Come on. Well, here's the register. Yeah, let's see now. Three people registered tonight. Uh, Helen Dobson, the Cisco Kid, and Poncho. That's her, all right. Who are them other two? I met up with one of them on the train, the Cisco Kid. Had some trouble with him, too. Get into a scrap? Yeah, a little argument. Hey, wait. Here he comes down the stairs now. What is there, senor? Did not expect to meet up with you so soon again. This ain't the meeting I'm looking for, Cisco. Another place and another time is where I want to meet up with you. Very well. I will not look for the meeting, but if we do run across each other in the future, we will settle whatever situation may arise between us. Is that agreeable? Eh, Big words you're talking, hombre. But remember, big words don't win no fights. <laughs> a wise man said many years ago that the pen is minor than the sword. That perhaps does not apply to feasts. But I will give you one word of warning. Do not ever again molest Senorita Helen Dobson. Adios. Well, how do you like that? So you're already in trouble with this Cisco kid over Dobson's niece, huh? Eh? Oh, no, Bart. I ain't in no trouble. It's him that's in trouble. Don't be too sure, Trip. This Cisco's the kind of hombre who'll be trying to protect a young girl. You may have a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll just go back in the dining room and start a little trouble right now. Might be a good idea. You pick a little fight in there with Cisco, and I'll go get the sheriff. He's a good friend of mine. Maybe we'll be able to get this Cisco kid out of the way. So there won't be no chance of him interfering with our plans. <laughs> If these two plan to get Cisco out of the way, they're heading for trouble. In just a moment, we'll continue our exciting story of The Cisco Kid. And now, back to The Cisco Kid and the story of Ned Dobson's niece. knowing of the impending fight, has gone for the sheriff, while Tripp saunters into the dining room and up to the table occupied by Cisco and Helen. Senorita, I believe that hombre Tripp is coming over to our table. Oh, I hope he doesn't try to make trouble. I will see that he does not, Senorita. Well, you two make a right cozy-looking pair. Miss Helen Dobson and the Cisco kid. Oh, now don't bother to get up, Cisco. I'll just pull up a chair. He's always polite to stand when one is with a lady. Oh, please, Cisco. Sit down. I will, senorita, as soon as this hombre has his say and walks on. But I wasn't going to walk on, Cisco. I was planning to sit down here and have something to eat with you. You don't mind, do you, Miss Dobson? Well, I... I... do not think we care for your company, hombre. It would be well if you found another table. Oh, now, that ain't being friendly, Cisco. Look, Miss Helen, I don't like this Cisco kid. But, you know, I do kind of like you. That is enough, Trip. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? We will settle this unpleasantness in the street. I'll settle it here. How, hombre? Like this. <laughs> I told you we would not fight here, hombre. Come me. Let go my arm, you. Not till I've taken you outside. Now walk. Oh, don't shove my arm up the back of my neck. You'll break it. Then walk outside quietly. All right. All right. Turn loose my arm. We are on the sidewalk, hombre. Now walk. Hey, what's the meaning of this? What's going on here? This hombre is trying to throw me out of the hotel, Sheriff. I see. Bart Landon said I might find some trouble down here. Oh, so you were told about this, Senor Sheriff. Very convenient. Bart Landon, you said? That is a name I will remember. Now, look, you. What's your name? I am the Cisco Kid. Cisco Kid, eh? Well, I might have noted. I don't aim to have no trouble here in Junction City. Now, go along your way. Get out. As you will, Senor. Sheriff, I don't want to have this hombre around where he can start anything. I demand you arrest him. Yeah, what charges? Charges of disturbing the peace and molesting a private citizen. Now, looky here. I don't see no serious charge in that. It ain't only him, Sheriff. It's that gal he's brought here with him. All right, hombre, that is enough. Oh, you seen it, Sheriff. You seen him hit me. That is not all the Sheriff will see if you open your mouth again. Well, I guess that does it. 
You preferring charges against this Cisco kid? Yeah, sure. I'm preferring charges. Assault and battery. Very well. I got to do my duty. Come along, Cisco. I do not think I will, Senor Sheriff. I believe this hombre and I have something of importance to settle first. Cisco, aren't you here now all cleaned up, ready for supper? Why not? Madre me. What's the trouble now? No matter, Pancho. I have dealings with the sheriff. Yeah, trying to resist arrest, are you? Take him in, sheriff. Shut up. You all handle this. Now, are you coming along peaceable Pancho, put down that gun. Pancho, Pancho, not get a gun. Of course, Pancho, you do not have a gun. The sheriff thought you did, and he turned to look at you. Come, Pancho. Stop, Cisco. We're all fire. I do not think you will risk hitting people here in the hotel, senor. Come, Pancho. Out the back way. I'm warning you, Cisco. I'll get you. That we will see about, senor. You should have had him, sheriff. I'll get him, all right. Nobody makes a fool of me and gets away with it. What happened, Sheriff? Cisco tricked him and made a getaway. Yeah? Did you find Cisco fighting, like I said? It wasn't much of a fight. Cisco was just sort of giving trip here the bum's rush. Yeah, but Cisco hit me. You saw him, Sheriff. And remember, it's up to you to find him and arrest him on my complaint. <laughs> Cisco, why we come here to the sheriff's office? And Pancho and I get a supper jet. And Pancho very hungry. I'm hungry too, Pancho. But before we eat, it is important that we see the sheriff. We see the sheriff back in the hotel. If you want to talk with him, why do you not do it there, Cisco? Because, amigo, there were too many people who could overhear. You mean over there, in the hotel? See, si, too many people over there could overhear. Over here, over there. Do not make sense, Cisco. There are not too many people over here, Cisco. Just you and me. But in the hotel, there are many people over there to overhear. Oh, Pancho, you are making a joke, but a very poor one. <laughs> Pancho, I like it. What do you really mean, Cisco? I mean that I will talk to the sheriff privately. Pancho thinks you've not got long to wait. The sheriff coming here now, Pancho thinks. Si, amigo, we we'll wait in the sheriff's get of get Senor Sheriff. What? Who's there? It's I, Cisco. What are you doing here, trying to make more trouble? No, Senor Sheriff. Perhaps Pancho and I wanted to make it easier for you to catch us. You're trying to trick me again. We're not trying to trick you, Senor Sheriff. We just come over here instead of over there, so nobody over there, over here, over there. <laughs> Pancho means that we would like to talk with you privately, Senor. There ain't nothing funny about it, Cisco, resisting an officer of the law. Over here. I agree, Senor Sheriff. It is no laughing matter, and I apologize for upsetting your dignity. Uh, Cisco upset more than his dignity, and Pancho think over there. May we go inside your office, Senor? If you wish, you may take our guns. I'll handle you guns or no guns. Come on in. I just like this lamp over here. Over there. I would not do that if I were, senor. It's better if we are not observed. Wait now, now. What's this all about? In very simple words, senor, I would ask your protection for senorita Helen Dobson. What are you leading up to? I don't savvy. I have learned that many people here in Junction City believe that Ned Dobson owns all that property in his name. Well, sure he does. Everybody knows that. His brother sold the land to Ned when he left here 12, 15 years ago. Pancho, wake up. But Senorita Helen says otherwise. She says her father's will left half of the rancho to her. Uh, Cisco, that's hard to believe. Anyway, what do you expect me to do about it? Pancho, Pancho. Your pardon, Senor Sheriff. Pancho is apparently not interested in our conversation. But to continue, Senorita Helen is taking the stage to the Dobson Rancho tomorrow morning. It's a lonely trip. I will be on the stage with her. Oh, you're going to be riding the stage when I'm going to lock you two up tonight. <coughs> lock us up? Who, who say? Who say? That's exactly what you will do, Senor Sheriff. Lock up, Pancho, and me. See, lock up, Pancho. Give us the lock up, Pancho. No. You bet your life I'm going to lock you up. See, si, Senor. Then you will let the town know, particularly Bart and Tripp, that we are in custody. Seems like to me you're trying to tell me how to run my job. See, si, Cisco don't have to run your job, and you do like Cisco say. Now, look at here, but you. But first, I... Senor, you will give me the key to the cell lock. Because Pancho and I will need to escape from the jail without too much difficulty. Don't make me laugh. Why should I let you escape? Because if you do not, senor, I'm afraid you will be hunting for the murderer of Senorita Helen Dobson. Hey, that chair is very nice to leave the key with us, Cisco. See, si, Pancho, he agreed to our plan, and I think he was quite wise in doing so. What do we do now, huh? We ride to the rancho of Senor Ned Dobson. We must find the papers that Senorita Helen's father signed when he sold the rancho to his brother. I think I've found what I'm looking for, Pancho. What, Cisco? What you find? What you find? Deed to the Dobson rancho. Uh-huh. It is signed by John Dobson and witnessed by... Let me see here. Bart Landon. I am Pancho. I'd like this, Cisco. If we get caught breaking into this house, we'll really be in the trouble. If we are careful, Pancho, we will not be caught. Come. I have everything we need now. It was 
was nice of you to insist on riding out to Uncle Ned's ranch with me, Cisco. But how are you going to get back? Pancho is bringing the horses, senorita. And perhaps we will not have to ride as far as your uncle's rancho. I don't understand, Cisco. What do you mean we may not have to go all the way to the ranch? It is possible your journey will be interrupted, senorita. Interrupted? Why? Well, it has been known that the stage has been held up in the past. Senorita, have you your father's will? Yes, I have it. Will you allow me to see it and keep it for you? Well, that's a strange request, Cisco. It, it, it's not that I don't trust you. But why do you want it? Merely for safekeeping. You see, I do not trust this trip person, and neither do I trust Bart Landon. But Bart's been Uncle Ned's foreman for years. I remember Father talking about him, and... Perhaps I am too suspicious, but I do not trust your uncle either. I'm anxious to compare the signature of your father, which I found on the deed to the land, with the one that he signed on his will. May I see the will, please? Of course. But where did you get that deed? It was necessary to do a little breaking and entering, but I think it will be worth it. Here's Father's will. Yeah, I see. Now, the signature. Just as I thought. There is a great difference here that I... Don't be upset, senorita. I will hide on the floor. Go to the floor later. Well, Miss Helen, we meet again. Now, if you'll just get down peacefully, you and me is going to take a little ride. Well, come on down. I'll open the door for you. I do not think you will take the senorita for any rides. Cisco, I thought you were in jail. Not at the moment. Oh, you want to fight, do you? Well, I'll apply. <laughs> it's a great pleasure. <laughs> You can play at this, Cisco. But one must always win. There are other ways of playing, Cisco. This. Look out, Cisco, the gun! Oh, sorry to kick the gun, hombre. But perhaps it's better if we fight with our fists. Come, come, get up. No, I ain't gonna get up. I've had enough of doing Bart Landon's dirty work. You are sure this Bart Landon's? Yeah, him and his boss, Ned Dobbs. Just as I thought. Well, senorita... Perhaps we'd better go back to Junction City. Ah, Pancho, you are just in time. In time for what, Cisco? In time to tie up this hombre and take him to the sheriff. You already got a big fight, Cisco? See, amigo, it's not too big a fight, but we had it. Ah, Cisco, Pancho always miss all the fun. <laughs> so now, Senorita Helen, everything has been taken care of. You have proved your ownership to half of the rancho, trip and barter in jail, and your uncle has posted bail pending his trial. Somehow, I just can't testify against Uncle Ned. After all, father was his brother. I I think perhaps I'll, I'll take his offer and, and sell my share of the ranch to him. I think that might be wise, senorita. Perhaps it would be better if you did not stay around here. Oh, but I love this country. And, Cisco, it, it is you who taught me what wonderful country it is. I think I will stay. Very well, senorita. The choice should be yours. But remember, if there's ever anything I can do for you, do not fail to call upon me. Oh, I think you've done enough, Cisco. I'll never be able to thank you. But perhaps there is one more favor. A favor, senorita? I hope you don't think I'm too bold, Cisco. It is I who am bold, senorita. But perhaps not bold enough to put into words what I am thinking. You don't have to, Cisco. Senorita. Oh, Pancho over here, Cisco over there. Cisco. Si, Pancho. Pancho thinking this senorita here in Dobson. Oh, she's a very pretty senorita, Cisco. Si, amigo. Not only is Senorita Helen pretty, she is talented, too. Ta talented, too? What does it mean, talented, too? And Pancho not understand. Well, Pancho, talented means that the Senorita has many talents. Oh? She sings, she writes, she paints. Oh, she's very artistic. Artistic? Do you mean like the artist, Cisco? Si, hey, Pancho. She has a great appreciation for beauty, uh -huh. for pictures. Did you notice those plates at the hotel when we had supper with the Senorita? Hey, Pancho noticed them. They're just plain white china plates. That is what I mean, amigo. Senorita Helen would paint those plates if they were hers. She would like to see beautiful flowers on them. Uh, Pancho, I think that's a very good idea. No? No. Well, why would you not like to have flowers on the plates, Pancho? Let's go. Pancho think Pancho a lot rather have a great big steak on the plates. Oh, Pancho. Oh, she's go. No, go. Go, no, go. <laughs> uh, 
And so ends another exciting adventure with O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the West, the Cisco Kid. <laughs> 